Today we have two amateur chefs going head to head in the ultimate cookie competition for their lives. I don't know if it's for their lives, but it is the, the Lucy's Ultimate, Ultimate Christmas, Christmas Cookie, cookie competition. competition. I'm Nadia Seed and I am so ready for this competition because I love to cook, I love to bake, and I don't know what they were saying about me being an amateur chef because I've cooked toast, eggs, waffles, all of that stuff. And when I win this prize money, I'm going to get a mansion, a car, a theater in my own house, an amusement um, park in my own house. There's, yeah? no, there's no prize money. There's no prize money. What? Listen up. I'm Nigel C. And I'm about to win this challenge. Why? Because I'm in the kitchen 25-8. I'm in the kitchen washing dishes, sweeping, getting snacks. Now all I got to do is make the snacks. I'm basically already used to it. So this is life. I'm going to win this challenge. And then once I get that sh money from it, I'm going to invest in some Bitcoin, NFTs, um, some real estate. That's really, some sorry, Apple, that's a great goal, some but stocks. there is no prize money. There's no prize money. Bruh. What? <laughs> so what am I doing this for, huh? I'm, a, I'm out. I'm, wait, I'm a, wait. What? You, you get free cookies. Now that is a valid reason. Your character? What? Your character. And your cookie. Pick one. Thanks. Blue ribbon chocolate chip cookie. Never heard of that one before. That's what Lee's are screwed. I kind of like that one. That's kind of cool. Though. Okay. Yeah. This is what? the judge's table. Huh? Away, please. Excuse me. Oh yeah, I'm so excited to make this cookie. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's hurry this along, please. Your character. Ooh, what's my character? I'm so excited to find out. Ooh, moment of truth. <laughs> And now your cookie choice. Choose one. Ooh, okay, let's go to the one. Ooh. All right, I think. Ooh, we've got carrots fruit jumbles cookie. Never heard of that one before. Let's see what you can do with it. Yay, I'm so excited to try this. This is going to be a great Okay, cookie. this is the judge's table. Carry on now. Buddy the Elf, I have to say I'm super excited for this challenge. But there's this one judge who's really mean, and I don't like being mean. And his name starts with Daddy. And I think I'm gonna tell Santa to put him on the naughty list, because I think he might be a South Pole judge. But then there's this other judge who's super nice and I really love her. And in the North Pole where I'm from, we make a lot of things. We make a lot of cookies, we make a lot of toys. So this challenge should be pretty easy for me because I do have a lot of experience in making things. And my favorite, favorite cookie that I tasted in the North Pole are spaghetti and syrup cookies. Huh? Boy, it's me, Ebenezer C. Boy. I don't know if that's what Ebenezer would say. Or right. whom doth toldeth thou to telleth mine what thine Ebenezer Scrooge would say? Or um, I think it'll be fine for you to use your regular voice, sir. Tis my regular voice, madam. Okay, this. Is Why am I here? It's gonna at that moment, to I have money, doubloons to be making at the moment. Where's your money? Where's my money? Everywhere. You are my money. Everything in this room is my money. Huh? Understood. In fact, here are 11 of my favorite coins. Ah, beautiful, aren't they? What is this? Is this a Christmas tree? Bah humbug! Why am I sitting next to this thing? You know what? I ought to use these coins to bribe my way into a win for this challenge. I'll go see what that mean judge is doing. I like him. You know, we have amateur chefs, but I'm very optimistic. I think they're going to do a great job with this competition. I don't. Okay. They're amateurs. I think they're gonna do terrible. 
Wow. Well, you know, we have some really good cookies that they chose and really fun characters. So it should make for a really great Christmas competition. I can't wait to see how they do. More importantly, if you want to see who wins this competition, make sure you subscribe right now. This Christmas cookie recipe is a classic passed down to me from Santa himself. Self straight from the North Pole. I make it all the time. Um, and excuse me, contestant, but your recipe is right here in this cookie book. <laughs> um, I don't know what you're talking about. Hey! Okay, we're going to Target to get your ingredients. Yep, you got 10 minutes to get everything you need. 10 minutes? 10 ah! minutes! For a hot bug! I had to remove this mask before I begin speaking. This doth remind me of the Black Plague. Now, I'm in the aisle where all of these chocolate chips are. And although I hate things, and although I hate Christmas and cookies, I am a contestant in this challenge, which means I must find some chocolate chips to apply to my cookies. Now, where are thy cookies? Ah, give our jelly chocolate chips. Founded in 1852, I don't remember when this brand was first created. Now, I must show my support by buying their chocolate chips. Okay, so you know the four food groups. Candy, candy canes, candy corns, and syrup. But right now I'm looking for some brown sugar. This town ain't big enough for the two of us, Nadia. You're right, Nigel. Seems like one person gonna have to go down. And I'm sorry, but that's you. Sorry, Nigel. Taken out by Buddy the Elf. Okay, you guys, we only have one more minute to get to the register. One minute? Right. Yeah. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. 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 Okay, contestants, you have your ingredients. And now it's time to bake. You have 45 minutes and go. Oh. Buddy the Elf, I art not excited. I doth went to the cookies but nothing to do with, with Christmas. <laughs> well, you know what you need? You just need a little Christmas joy. Let's get you in the Christmas spirit by starting. Come on, let's no. sing some songs. All right, let's sing, let's sing a uh, Christmas. Wait, what is the song? It's like... I must have it a medium bowl. I must have it a medium bowl. Art thou sure? Thou is sure. <laughs> hey, you have to be talking like him now. <laughs> no, you know what? I'm using this medium bowl and what? All right, let's see, let's see. I must uh, use a, a, bowl. a small flour. bowl. All right, I need two and one half cup of flour. Flour. Gosh, I need a medium bowl. I have to run it to thine kitchen. I must hurry up before thy time runs out. You can do it, Ebenezer. Wait, I'm, I'm against it. No, you can't do it. But I'm happy. I want you to do it. You I can just do it. successfully completed a medium bowl speed run. <laughs> now, I must combine it thine flour, soda, and salt. Flower like me? Yes. We're twins. Nadia, that was making a large mess. Oops. Oh my goodness, this goes. It's okay, we have to get messy oh. in the kitchen. This does go against the Constitution, Nadia. The Constitution? Indubitably. Well, Nigel, in Christmas spirit land, there are no rules, there are no constitutions. Bruh. <laughs> Nigel, here comes the judge. Oh no. Oh. <clears throat> What on earth is going on over here? Hello, how are you? Baking? How are my favorite judge? I'm okay. Outstanding, sir. How are you? I art fantabulous. Mm. Hi, hey, I'm here too. What is going on over here? I know, this baking. It's a bit of a mess already, huh? No, no. No? No, no. <laughs> What's all over your apron? Nothing. Buddy the Elf has made a ginormous mess What are you talking over about? Over thine table. No, this is what happened. Typical he, elf. He's trying to put the blame on me. Nope. He's a little screwed. Listen up. Hmm? Be mindful. Hmm? Clock's ticking. Oh. Tick. Yes, sir. Of course, I. Of course, I. Oh, 
here comes that other judge. We like the other judge. Hi, amateur chefs. How's it coming? Bah humbug. I love all the flour you have all over the Santa? place. Santa? Is that you? Are you are you are thou Santa? I'm so flattered. You think I'm Santa. I bet all this flour all over your apron is reminding you of the snow at the North Pole. Oh my gosh, the North Pole is my favorite place. I love it. We make lots of cookies there. I'm like, I'm love so to it's so it's so much love fun. To go. This is beautiful. You guys are doing a great job. Great job. Looks great. Thank you. Bye. I currently have to spend my time washing an electric mixer bowl because this was dirty and I need it for my recipe. This is taking up my precious time. I must hurry. I'm used to doing things in a short amount of time because in the North Pole, we have to make toys for all of the kids all around the world in only 365 days. It might seem like a lot of days, but we have to make toys for all other children. That's a lot of children. I've got to stand here at this mixer and put butter and sugars into it. This is a poor man's job. <laughs> I wonder if any peasants would like 10 gold coins to do this manual labor. Please see me at once. No one? All right, fine. Okay guys, so currently I also need an electric mixer, but unfortunately Ebenezer Scrooge is using it. So right now I'm using my hands and I think what I'm gonna do instead, since I have to mix other things with like an electric motor, I guess, I'm going to use something different. I'll be right back. How do you think it's going so far? Mm, I'm unimpressed. I think they're doing an impressive job. Really good job. You know what? I'm also impressed by your shirt. Looks like you dressed as Nadia, Buddy the Elf. Good job. <laughs> mm, well, it looks kind of like you just kind of wore your PJs. <laughs> Christmas PJs. This is the most comfortable and Christmassy thing to wear. Hmm. This is going great. 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Well, I mean, I'm okay because I've already got the mix. Oh, wait! No! I just really. No, I just really have to shrug my carrots, drain my pineapples, and then do butter mix and uh, wet mixture. And Nine is already using the mixture thing, so I don't know. I gotta go. I should probably start shredding my carrots. Oh, I gotta get to it. enough to get to the mixer before Nadia was, which means I have all my cookie dough already prepared. And Nadia still has to wash the bowl and then use it afterwards. <laughs> That's rough. Why are you teasing me? It's not very kind. In the North Pole, we don't do that. I'm a South Pole. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Nadia's already putting his dough on the cookie sheet and I am just getting to the mixer. I really gotta hurry up. You know, I'm not really stressing this too much. I'm feeling quite cool, almost as cool as the gold coins I placed on my dead partner Jacob Marley's eyes when he passed. Ah, Jacob, may you rest in peace. But I am quite glad that I received his half of the business. Thank you. Yeah, this competition is taking so long, I fell asleep. <laughs> Speaking of time, 15 minutes left. Mmm, delicious. Cheers. I do possess 15 minutes, which is quite enough time to cook all of these cookies. All right, it's time. Now, I don't have to worry about these Christmas cookies for another 15 minutes. Now, I'll prepare for my win. Guys, this is so unfair. An elf shouldn't be stressed like this. Nigel's already putting his cookies in the oven. And look at me, I'm putting my cookies on the sheet. I mean, I guess this is a little farther than earlier, but I don't know, I just really gotta hurry up. We don't have much time left. Gotta go, gotta go. Guys, if you're still voting for me, despite how long this has taken me, please comment down below and let me know.
I need some support. Okay guys, all done with the cookies. Feeling like a waitress bringing these in. And it seems like we have 10 more minutes, which is enough time for me to put these in the oven and hopefully decorate them. But I'm feeling very confident about them and maybe I can even surprise Santa with them when I get back to the North Pole. All right, my cookies are finally done. Let's see how they look. Mmm. Looking extra vacant. Very nice. Ah. Mm, tastes quite good. Ah, ah, ah. mm, tastes good. Ah. My cookies. I dropped them. Oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Maybe I can serve these to the judges. No, I can't do that. But it would save money. I can't. That's disgusting. They're not gonna like it. At least I have a few more on another tray. <laughs> okay guys, my cookies are all done and I'm really excited to try them. I'm very happy and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and you know, try some first. Try one first and see how it tastes. Hey, here we go. Ooh, look at that, it looks very kicky. Mm. This is delicious. Are you ready to taste some Christmas cookies? Yeah, I've been ready for like forever. Okay, well I think it's time for a countdown. You two have five seconds. Five. Boom! I'm all done and ready to serve. Four, three. You're done. How about you? I don't know. I only have five seconds left. Two, one. None of these cookies look good enough. I don't know which one to choose. I can't, I can't, I, uh, ah. Okay, contestant number one, Buddy the Elf, also known as Nadia C. Hi there, all right. Got my trace here. What do you Some have for us? for you. Oh, thank you. There you go. Okay. Don't open it, don't open it. Okay. And then, got this one for you, kind sir. Okay. Let's see what we have. Hopefully you're nice this time. Oh. Oh, let's see. That's some Christmas effects it's going on. So over here we have a carrot cake like cookie hmm. with a pineapple hint to it. And it's actually very delicious. On top of it we have some cream cheese icing that I colored green with some candy cane sprinkles for the mm. holiday season of Christmas. Mm. Smells like carrot cake. Wow. Let's see. Okay, shall we begin? Can you not smell my cookie, man? <laughs> Let's see. How does it taste? Does this only get one bite? Flavorful. I don't know about the crunchy candy cane things. It's a nice crunch to it because it's a very soft cookie and we need some crunch because it has those nuts, those pecan nuts in there along with the sprinkles. I think it's adds an extra Okay, crunch. thank you. Contestant number two. Can I give my opinion, please? I love the carrot and pineapple in there. The pineapple mm. gives it a nice little punch. I love the carrot cake flavor. The icing is delicious as well. I don't know about the crunch on top. She's really nice. Overall though, I think it's a great cookie. Good job. Good job. Okay, contestant number two, Ebenezer Scrooge, also known as Nigel C. Today, I decided that if I were to make cookies, I'm not making anything too Christmassy. So I present to you a blue ribbon chocolate chip cookie. Blue ribbon sounds like a winner. We'll see. We'll see. Blue we'll see. ribbon. Huh? I'm excited to earn the blue ribbon as well. Okay, let's see what we have here. That means it should be award winning. It is. It's just one cookie. Now, hear me out. I was in a very, you know, I put in so much effort over time that I didn't have a lot of time left at the end during your five second countdown. So, <laughs> I had to make a quick decision and I decided on one cookie that looks very appealing. And I decided to cut it in half. That it represents two halves of a whole, which you two are. Also known as you gave us one cookie to split. I think this has something to do with your mishap in the kitchen. Is that correct? Mishap? What mishap? Nothing happened. Was that? Well, I'm sure the cookie's good. Let's give it this a try. This isn't a floor cookie, is it? <laughs> oh, of course not. Of course not. 
Okay, so here we go. It looks like a chocolate chip cookie. Yes, let me inspect yes. it. Look that it is. Floor particles. Floor particles. <laughs> floor particles. This is safe to eat, right? One hundred percent safe. How do you like? Mmm. Mmm. Crunchy texture on the outside. Uh huh. Mm. Soft on the inside. Uh huh. I am quite partial to chocolate chip cookies. Mmm. It's chocolate chippy. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Notice the chocolate chips. Mmm. What do you think? It's a chocolate chip cookie. You'll find out soon. Okay, we gotta make a decision here. We have two really good efforts, I'd say. They put up a lot of work. I saw them in the kitchen. They were working hard. Are you partial to one over the other? Hmm. One is like an old classic that I love. The other is something different. Uh, mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. hard, it's hard. Seed Squad, which cookie would you choose? Would you choose the classic chocolate chip or are you gonna choose the carrot cake? Carrot cookie. Carrot cookie? It's not a cake, right? Carrot cake cookie. Okay. I think I know which one I'm gonna go for. Mm. I think I'll win this challenge. Simple answer, yes, I do. Why? Because I am Ebenezer Scrooge, the richest man on the planet. A man with all the money can make anything happen. And I just made the most amazing blue ribbon chocolate chip cookies on the planet. They will definitely outshine those of Buddy the Elf. I really think that I'm going to win because I was really festive. Like, I had all the Christmas decorations. I was in the Christmas spirit. I was in the joyful, jolly spirit the whole time. I was making it. And my cookie was even joyful and jolly. And, oh, Mr. Ebenezer Scrooge over here wasn't the most joyful. So, I really hope I win. Okay, Ebenezer and Buddy the Elf, you both did a great job. Yay! But only one person can win. Only one. Mommy, judge number one. You're the best judge ever. No buttering the judges. No buttering. No buttering. No. No buttering the judges. You're the best judges I've ever seen. No buttering up the judges. Okay, so we're gonna give individual votes, and my vote so hard, but it's gonna go to. The carrot cake cookie. Yay! Yay! That's a yes. vote for me. Yay. And my vote is the blue ribbon chocolate chip cookie. Mm. Is, is it a tie? <laughs> it's really what? Good. It's a tie. It can't be tied. Chocolate chips. There has to be one winner. So we will break this tie with a sudden death match of rock, rock paper, paper scissors. scissors. Let's yeah. go. Let's go, Mommy C. Yeah. Here we Best go. Rock, Best two out of three. Shoot. Best two out of three, yes. Why? Come on, Dad. Paper, scissors, shoot. Come on, Dad. Paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, time break. Here we go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Hey. Let's go. Well done, Daisy. Well done, Ebenezer. I will give you. Ebenezer's the champion. Sorry, buddy. I love you, buddy. I thought we could be cool. I thought we were friends. Oh, we I thought you guys were my friends. I thought you guys were my earth friends. You have earned one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen.